Hey there! Today I'm going to show you how to create a bright and realistic Christmas jumper pattern in Adobe Illustrator. First things first, let's start with the knitted texture. I'm going to use the ellipse tool to create an ellipse like this. Then, we'll sharpen the corners using the anchor point. I'll tilt this shape by 15 degrees. Now I'll make a copy of it and tilt it by minus 15 degrees. I'll align these shapes a bit and merge them into one. I'll move the bottom points towards the center of the shape like this. Next, let's move on to creating the knitted texture. Make a copy of the shape we just created and move it to the opposite corner of the R board. Then, select both shapes. Go to Object, Blend, and choose Make. Now, go to Object, Blend, and select Blend Options. In the window that pops up, choose Specified Steps for the Spacing Parameter and set it to 58. Click OK. Now, go back to Object and choose Expand. Your pattern will become a group of vector objects. Copy them and move them to the very bottom of the artboard. Select both groups and, in the Object tab, find Blend and choose Make again. We need to make the texture denser, so go to Object, Blend, and Blend Options. For the spacing parameter, choose Specified Steps and set it to 60. Click OK. Now, select the resulting texture and, in the Object tab, choose Expand. You'll need to ungroup the group of objects twice so that you can select each object individually. Use the Rectangle tool to create a rectangle the size of the R board. Move it to the background and choose a darker color for it. The knitted texture is ready. Select the top knitted line and change its color to white. Now, on our texture, we need to draw a cute reindeer like this. Based on the sketch, I gradually select the necessary pattern elements and change their color to white. Periodically, I group the selected elements for convenience. Here's the reindeer I've created. I'll make a copy of it to determine the location of the next pattern. The next element of pattern is a Christmas tree. I'll do the same by selecting the necessary pattern elements, changing their color to white, and grouping them for convenience. In the end, I have this lovely little Christmas tree. The next element of pattern, a snowflake, will be located lower, so I need to visually separate the two rows with a white line. The last element of pattern is a knitted snowflake. I draw it following the established scheme, select the necessary pattern elements, change their color to white, and group them for convenience. The snowflake is ready. 
Now, I'll make a copy and move it beneath the Christmas tree. The pattern is almost ready. I delete any extra texture elements. To determine the width of the pattern, I'll make a copy of the reindeer and remove the extra texture elements. I group the resulting pattern fragment. To make it seamless, I go to the Object tab, select Pattern, and choose Make. In the window that appears, I adjust the width and height of the fragments to create a seamless intersection. Now, I'll save the pattern. On a clean art board, I create a rectangle of any shape using the rectangle tool. Change its color to a darker shade. Make a copy of the rectangle. Now, in the swatches panel, I can choose the saved pattern and apply it to the rectangle. In the end, I've created this festive Christmas pattern. By the way, you can purchase it on my Gumroad page through the link in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.